what I want. Boy, don't get me wrong. Hey friends, thanks for watching. Today I am bringing you tons of cleaning motivation as I deep clean some areas of my home that have been pretty neglected. Also in this video, we are going to tackle cleaning out and reorganizing my closet. I had tons of clothes to get rid of and it feels so much less cluttered now. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy these kinds of videos. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. I would love to have you and let's get to cleaning. I really enjoy diffusing essential oils when I first start cleaning. It just really helps to set the tone. And so I am putting a couple of drops of lemon essential oil in my diffuser and a few drops of this crystal breath blend from Nature's Fusions into my diffuser as well. This blend is amazing if you are having upper respiratory issues. It's great for opening up your sinuses. It has tea tree oil, eucalyptus, and I just think that combination with lemon is perfect and it really sets the mood for me to get started cleaning. And we are going to start with the kitchen first. I'm starting out by putting a few things in the dishwasher and then hand washing everything that can't go into the dishwasher and then we are going to take care of cleaning out the sink next. It had been so long since I had cleaned out my kitchen sink and if you know me, it is something that I like to do at least once a week because of how dirty it gets. You should learn that on your own I play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you Boy just be honest any of my cleaning videos before then you may not know that this barkeeper's friend is my favorite cleanser to use on stainless steel especially for a stainless steel sink it helps to get rid of all of the watermarks and lime and any kind of stains or caked on stuff that may be in your sink and I just use this and a sponge just give it a really good scrub it is the best thing that I have found for stainless steel sinks if you guys know of another product that works really well then help everybody out by leaving it in the comments because I hope you pick it up soon and you know just what to do Don't you Boy, just be honest dirty so I am using my tried and true Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray just to give the countertops a wipe down and if you missed my last cleaning video I actually tried out all of the jaws cleaners in that video and I really do love the kitchen one it works great if your stove or your countertops are greasy but I don't need to use it all the time because I think that it works for heavy duty messes and that's not really what I needed to clean today so using the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray and just giving everything a light wipe down we see the distance grow I just need to know Do you even feel the same? I'm living in your messages I'm closer to you there I guess Living in your messages Every day now I confess It has definitely been a while since I disinfected my refrigerator especially the handles and stuff we touch them so often and we don't ever think to wipe them down but I know that I need to make sure that I do that every so often just to keep all the germs away so this is something that I'm glad I remembered to do I hear your laughter from within you can light up any room without going in 
We are moving on to the laundry room and I really needed to clean up a big mess in here. When the guys were banging on the outside of the house putting the siding on, there was so much dust and dirt that fell from the ceiling or the walls. I don't even know where it all came from, but every little crevice of the house has got some layer of dust and dirt. So I'm just using the attachment with my vacuum cleaner to get all of that up. And if you guys have never seen what the floors looked like in my kitchen originally, this is the vinyl flooring that was in the kitchen before I got all brand new floors. And I do have a plan, I think, for what I wanna do with the floor in here. I have seen a lot of people use those sticky adhesive tiles that you can get on Amazon. So I'm thinking that I might cover this up with those tiles. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any other suggestions. I just don't wanna do anything too expensive since it's a laundry room and people hardly ever come in here. Now we're gonna move on to the bathroom. I'm just gonna give the sinks a quick wipe down and I'm gonna do the toilet and I'm gonna save the tub for another day. ready to change out a few things in this bathroom for some more summery decor but of course everything where I live is still pretty much shut down most of the stores haven't opened back up yet and the only place I've really been able to shop is Target so I'm just gonna have to be a little bit more patient until I can go out and get a couple of things to freshen up this bathroom make it just a little bit more summery The reason why we chose to say goodbye But I can help my feelings Right now, I can't deny You never left my mind And now, my heart is bleeding Why did I have to break it up? Guess I was just a young girl Living in a dream world I thought that I'd be better off But now I pay the price I don't know how to forget you I can't forget you You're always on my mind I do the things that I should do we are moving on to the second day of cleaning. I just had so much to do the week that I was filming this that I had to break up the cleaning into two days. And you know what? That's totally real life. Sometimes we don't have time to get all of it done in one day. So on the second day, I started out by working in the living room. I needed to do the same thing that I did in the laundry room, go around with the attachment and just get a little bit of fine dust up everywhere, especially along the outside walls where they were banging and stuff on the walls. And then I am going to move on to dusting everything everything down as well because there was a fine layer and a fine film of dust on all of my surfaces as well. About my regrets. Why did I have to break it up? Guess I was way too shallow. My mind was way too narrow. I thought that I'd be better off. But now I'm in If you love farmhouse decor as much as I do, then you definitely don't want to miss my last video. I made this blanket ladder here in the corner as well as a noodle board for my stove top and these projects were so easy to make and I really think they add so much interest to the room. I absolutely love them. to 
cleaning the windowsills upstairs. I had the same problem upstairs that I did downstairs. All of the windowsills and baseboards just had a little bit of dust on them. And I really don't do this super regularly, so I love the excuse to actually wipe them down. It's special. I thought I handled this so well. I know we had the right intentions. But somehow it came to an end. As I was vacuuming, this pile of clothes on my chair inspired me to actually do the closet clean out on this day. I just had a pile that was sitting there that needs to go to either thread up, which is what I like to use. I like to consign most of my clothes and whatever I can't consign, I will just take to Goodwill or donate somewhere. And I had so many more clothes that I added to this pile. There was probably like five or six pairs of jeans and then like eight tops. And then by the time I was done, I probably had tripled or quadrupled the amount of clothes. So the closet clean out that we're going to get to in just a little bit was definitely needed. and I'm just gonna give the carpet in here a quick clean. I had actually just vacuumed these carpets like a couple days ago. They accidentally punctured a hole in the wall when they were doing some construction and so they have had to come in and patch up the hole. So I always wanna make sure that anytime we are sanding or anything like that over this carpet that I give it a good vacuum so none of that fine dust um, like stays in the carpet. It's really, really hard to get out if you don't get it out right away. So I'm just making sure that everything is nice and clean. Start a fight, there you go I get a stable another one of those rooms where sometimes it gets a little bit neglected just because I'm not in here super super often and so I don't really wipe down every little thing but I love having a good excuse to clean all of this construction is just inspiring me to really keep everything clean and wiped down just because I want to make sure that it doesn't get too bad it is so much harder to clean things when you have let it go for so long I think spot cleaning just makes things way easier Start a fight, there you go I get unstable I get unstable diffuser in here as well and get some oils going. I am using a blend of orange and lemonade from Nature's Fusions to make a yummy citrus smell. I think citrus just smells so clean. If you want your space to smell like you just cleaned it, then always diffuse citrus oils. Making it brighter right through the gray. 
I am throwing in a load of clothes. I always try to do this when I'm cleaning because it is the only way I get laundry done. If I'm up and moving around the house, then I try to throw a load in while I'm doing stuff. And then we are moving on to the closet clean out. I know that the befores don't really do it justice. It doesn't look that bad. But if you guys could see back into the closet, like where it is really deep and how packed the clothes were, I just think I couldn't see what I had because everything was packed in there like sardines. I had clothing from when I was in high school. Guys, I'm 25 years old. I cannot believe I had stuff. Actually, some of the pieces of clothing were probably over 10 years old. I really haven't changed size all that much since high school and there were a few things that I had that were like extra smalls and I was like man I can't wear this anymore I don't know why I even have this but for the most part I'm able to wear things for so long just because I haven't changed size and I try to take good care of my clothes so I can wear them for a long time but at some point you just have to let some of it go so I was very happy to put some of this in my pile to consign and donate and then we are going to actually move on to shoes because this is another thing that I for some reason like to hoard I try to take really good care of my shoes and of course my feet aren't growing anymore so I just tend to collect shoes and then I cannot seem to get rid of the ones that either have worn out or I don't like anymore and most of the time I will wear shoes until they literally fall off of my feet so I need to be way better about just getting rid of them at the end of a season if I have worn them to death or some kind of layer of dust that was on top of this shoe rack and even some of my shoes had a layer of dust so I'm just quickly giving them a little wipe down I'm not sure where the dust came from I know that I put the closet system in here shortly after I moved in so it could be some residual dust from when we installed that but not entirely sure it was definitely a great idea to wipe these down though because then the next time I put them on they're going to be clean and ready to go as I started to put everything back into the closet, I decided at first that I was going to do it by color, like rainbow, and then I decided that that wasn't really the most efficient. I was going to put some of my dressier items towards the front and then more casual things towards the back. I'm just more inclined to grab nicer things if they are more for winter, just because if I need to dress up for church or go somewhere where I need something a little bit warmer that is dressy, I'm probably more likely to grab that than a oversized sweatshirt or something right now in the middle of summer so that is how I decided to organize the left side and then the right side is all of my t-shirts which I had actually gone through not that long ago but I'm just going through again really quickly just to see if there's anything else that I wanted to get rid of and then this middle section here I have a conglomeration of things and these shelves desperately needed to be wiped down right through the grave. down all the shelves I decided to put my boots on the top these are my hunter rain boots and I very rarely grab them and then I have boot socks in the container next to them for like boot liners in case it's cold the next shelf has two containers of leggings that are rolled up and then the sh third shelf has my jewelry I keep all my jewelry in a couple of containers and then like slippers and miscellaneous things like that are going on the bottom couple of shelves and then where I had like a little bit of extra space I thought it would be kind of cute to style the shelves with some fun pairs of shoes so I put in a cute pair of sandals and a cute pair of heels and then I have to put some stuff on the top as well and it is so hard since I'm only 5'2 to reach the top shelf so I do have to get on a step stool to get up here but I like to keep all of my baseball caps and sun hats I also have a few items up on there that are for like dressing up for spirit days and stuff at school. I have like a green tutu and some like funny Hawaiian outfits and things like that. So that all goes on the top. And then this is what it looked like when it was totally finished. I am so happy how it turned out. It doesn't look that different. I know than it probably you saw in the befores, but when I go to look through my clothes now, I just feel like there is so much more space. They're not all packed in there super tightly. I can slide them across um, the different racks and see much easier what I have and I think that this looks so great 
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope this gave you tons of cleaning motivation to get done what you needed to get done today. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video. Bye guys. The voice and sings on my head used to be my only friend, but they go silent.